The following problem describes how to solve a quadratic equation by graphing it. Um, and when, you, when we're solving by graphing, what we're looking at is we've got this quadratic uh, expression, negative 2x squared minus 4x plus 4, and that equals 0. Well, what we do is we write, z instead of writing 0, we write y. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do is we're going to try to determine, well, when is y going to equal 0? Well, y equals 0 at a very specific place, and that is at the x-intercepts. So if we graph this equ equation and find the x-intercepts, then we know um, that we have the solution to the quadratic equation. So to graph it, we're going to use the uh, basic method of finding the vertex by negative b over 2a. Uh, remember, negative a comes from what's in front of the x squared, so it's negative 2. b is 4, because that's what's in front of the x. So we plug those values in for b and a into the x negative b over 2a, and you get negative 4 over 2 times negative 2, which gives you negative 4 over negative 4, which is 1. Okay, so now we draw our t-chart, or table of values, or whatever you want to call it and put one in uh, the middle there. Essentially what we're doing is we're leaving spot to put two numbers above, two and three, and two numbers below, zero, negative one. Notice how that is just in sequential order. Negative one, zero, one, two, three, as if you're counting. So now we have to fill in and figure out well what are the values uh, of y at those points. So I'm going to put one in first just to find the vertex. It's usually a good place to start. So it's going to be a negative two times one squared, which is a negative two, plus four times one, which is four, plus four. So that'll give you 8 plus negative 2, which is 6. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the 0 in next, because there's symmetry in these problems. There, there's always this symmetry between the, the two numbers right by the vertex. And 0 is easier to find than 2, so we put 0 in, because 0 just cancels out the, the first two terms, and you end up with y equals 4. It's a very easy way to do it. So essentially what happens is, if, if, if zero, um, putting 0 in for x gives you 4, then putting in 2 in for x will also give you 4. All right, the last thing to look is negative 1 or 3. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Again, because they're going to be the same, um, I'm going to pick 3 just so I don't have to worry about the negatives. Um, and so you're going to have negative 2 times 3 squared plus 4 times 3 uh, plus 4. 3 squared is 9. Uh, a negative 2 times 9 is a negative 18. And so that first part, part of this is negative 18. Uh, and then 4 times 3 is 12 and then plus 4. You do, go ahead and do this, uh, or simplify this expression, you get negative 6 plus 4 is a negative 2. And so our y coordinates for 3 and negative 1 are negative 2. So we're going to go through and we're going to graph these uh, points. And when we do that, um, we usually graph the vertex first, but it doesn't really matter. You just got to graph the, f the five uh, points. Um, so we're going through, graph 0, 4, and 2, 4. Now we're going to graph uh, 3 over negative 2 and neg negative 1, negative 2. And we're going to draw the parabola. Now the parabola, again, it looks like a combination of a u and v. And, and notice this one's even steeper than usual. So we're just doing our best job to um, estimate what the graph would look like um, and by connecting the points and making it look something like a v u slash combination. Now if you notice, this one's upside down, and that's because the negative uh, a was negative. Whenever a is negative, it's upside down. So the question is, what's my solution? Well, what are the x-intercepts? Well, in this case, we don't know for sure, so we just have to estimate. By my estimation, it looks like, um, and notice I'm putting the, uh, est the symbol for estimation, and it looks like the first one is about at negative 0.9. It's not quite ne to negative 1, so it's about negative 0.9. So my first answer is around negative 0.9. So approximately at negative 0.9. Then I go find the other one. Well, it's not all the way out to 3, but it's really close to 3, so it's going to be approximately 2.9. This shows you why graphing isn't the greatest way to solve quadratic equations, because we, we are only getting an estimation. You know, whenever you solve something by graphing, a lot of the times your answer is just an estimation. It's just something close to the answer. So in this case, if you, were to, if you were to go through and use a quadratic formula or another method, you'd probably get an exact answer, but it would be very close to negative 0.9 and very close to 2.9. And this can be very valuable if you use a calculator to check your answer um, and see if they're right.